Curry County. Welcome back to our seasonal crafting series. I'm Mindy Turner with the Curry County Cooperative Extension Service, your family and consumer science agent. We are talking about crafting for our mental health, doing some fun things and not blowing our budget to make some sweet, fun gifts or keepsakes for ourselves that we can use found items or repurposed recycled items that might just be on clearance right about now. Some of those seasonal things that we can bring back into our home. So we talked a little about terracotta pots last time. This time, we are gonna talk about those jar lids. So we know with our canning jars, you have your, your insert, your lid piece, which I lost mine, there they are. Um, you can purchase a box of just the lids like this, okay? Or when you open your jars and use your items, of course you rewash these things. And then of course your rings that go around the outside of that to hold it down tight. Now, those of you who are our canners out there, you know you can reuse a ring, you can reuse a jar, as long as it's been sanitized and washed correctly. You do not want to reuse these lids. Okay, the, the whole purpose of this is to seal and to seal your jar tight. And once that seal is broken, probably not going to reseal again the correct way. So you don't want to throw them all away, right? So we can recycle these. You can use new ones or you can wash them good and recycle them into some of the crafts that we're going to show. You can also, again, use the rings. So I have a couple different projects to show you. Again, we're talking about as we transition our seasons and moving into that fall and Christmas type, uh, those holidays that are coming up to have some things that we can share with others or again, just use to decorate our homes. How good does it feel in the fall time to walk in and go, oh, it's fall. There's some kind of a pumpkin theme or there's fall leaves or whatever that happens to be for you. I have tons of beautiful fall stuff that I don't always get out because I don't have a lot of time or sometimes I get it out and then it doesn't get put back up until maybe like Valentine's Day, but that's okay. Makes me feel good to have those things. So consider, again, that mental health piece of, of being able to decorate with some repurposed items. Now the thing about your jar lids, you can use them just the silver or if you have gold ones, whatever that standard color is, or like we talked last time, dig out that old spray paint that you've got out in the garage, pick the color that you want that goes along with your themes and the things you like, and paint some lids. So I sprayed, um, obviously these are orange but so I sprayed orange to make some pumpkin items and then I did some red and green for Christmas that's and then I left some just the silver because I like the silver tones for my Christmas and when I decorate for things so what are some of the things that you might think about doing with these just like we talked about with the pots these crafts are designed to be sky's the limit whatever you like make it as simple as you want or as elaborate as you want because you're the one doing the craft and making those decisions. So when we talk about some of the things that we can do with our flats, one of the things that I saw that I thought, oh, came out so cute and everybody who's walked in and seen it just laying on the table has been like, oh, that's really cute, that little pumpkin. This is just three of the flats. They're spray painted orange. Okay, and a little sneak piece for what we're gonna do next time. This is just a little wooden piece that's put on here, spray painted green, added a little raffia bow. Okay, that's plenty. But if you want more, if you want it to build it, you can, you can add a face, you can add decals, you can put, I love um, just stick on letters. Again, this would be great with a monogram of some kind on it, just put some initials, or a cute little saying. And whether you want to hand write that out, we talked about paint pens last time, or with your permanent marker to write that out on there, or you can buy at the, uh, the big box store, the craft store, you can come across all kinds of little decals with great little sayings, Bible verses, things like that, that you could just stick right on here and have a great thing to get. Now again, you can use it, you can add a little hook, you could put a magnet on the back and hang it up, or you could just set it in with whatever other decor you have around, okay? I hope y'all are taking bets on whether or not I knock that off the shelf before we finish with this segment. But so taking those flats, some of the things that I learned that I think it's very important for you to think about when you're doing the flat piece, um, 
whether you're using the hot glue, said so there's a lot of different varieties of adhesive that you can use that would hold these together, but making sure you get a good bond with whatever you're putting. The hard thing about using the flats, of course, is that they're, because they're made to seal to the jar, they have this ridge, okay? So you're not always putting flat surface to flat surface. So you have to make sure that you get your glue, I don't know if you can see it on the silver one, that they have the rim where you have to make sure you get that glue on that rim so that it adheres to the flat part, okay? And then one of the things that I found very helpful is then to flip it over and take your glue gun and kind of go in that crevice. So let me show you what I mean. This, obviously these were um, red and green flats. And this was laid out to just design a wreath to make a circle. You can use a wreath form. These are very inexpensive. So this size was um, two for a dollar, okay? Or there's a, a large one, just a dollar, okay, to make your wreath. And you can actually put these all the way around. What I did was I just took a small paper plate to start making it round and laid out. I have the green ones on the back part. So this is just simply spray painted the flat. Then these are cut circles out of various scrapbook papers. I had a Christmas thing of scrapbook paper that was just here. Okay, so things that I already had on hand that I cut the circles. Now you can, depending on again, the level of what you're trying to create, you can use your Mod Podge and put these on there and then seal them in, okay? Or you can just put a little dab of glue and hold them on there, okay? So I stuck mine on. Now, how cute would this be with some little black and white photos of all the kids going around? What a great Christmas gift to bring out every year and put in your decorations and see all of those smiling faces, okay? And I say black and white because of the types of um, vintage looking scrapbook paper that I used. So I think that would kind of enhance it. But one of the things, like I said, that you really want to think about, um, it helped with these to kind of put them in segments. Okay, so you can see where I have my segments. But then when you get ready to put them together, you gotta make sure that you're getting that glue on the high part. It's always tempting for us when we get ready to put something together to want to just fill it up with glue. But if it's all in the little well and it doesn't touch, it doesn't help us at all. Okay, so we want to make sure that we get that glue in there. Okay, sometimes what really helps with this, if it's a really slick surface, a little bit of sandpaper, rough it just a little so that glue can adhere better and not just pop right off. Okay, also maybe have a little glue on both sides so it's glue to glue instead of just metal to glue. That will help it adhere together really strongly. Okay, the other piece then to really cement it, once you get them laid like this and they're glued from that top side, is you can take that gun and just like I was talking about, plopping that into the crevice right there to fill it up to make it hold tight. And if you're neat enough and can do it with your glue gun, you might do that along the front side as well. Go up in underneath and get it in there. I end up with kind of strings and globs of glue stuck everywhere. So that's not the ideal way for me to do it. Also with these, once you have those flats made like that, maybe you don't wanna make a whole wreath or maybe you want to give multiple people things. So you can, of course, take your individual ones if you have a tin punch or just a nail and a hammer, poke a hole in that, tie a string, again, add that sweet photo. What a great ornament, how fun is that? Or string several together, okay? Maybe um, actually use twine or burlap ribbon, something across there, so that you can make a garland. Add letters, spell out words, make fun things that you can hang up, decorate around your house. Very inexpensive. Okay, so you can see I also made some for fall. Okay, the orange paint and then just some great, this one is um, a brown and these are kind of a burnt orange color on that scrapbook paper. So like I mentioned, you can go crossways, but you can also go down. So this is just a piece, again, it's burlap ribbon, 
with a long tail hanging down. So one of the fun ways that you could do, and you could do this with the Christmas or with your fall theme, okay? And just put a little glue and glue your lids going down. You can spell out words, I heart fall, whatever you want it to say. You can add three dimensional type items, okay, to the front. This is just a little red truck with a pumpkin in the back. That's kind of fun. Same thing um, on these, you can add snowflakes, cute Santas, fun ornaments, whatever it is you like to do. So there's a lot of options for things that you can pull together in just using the flats. So now with the rings, they were a little more difficult to work with, but depending what you want to do. So one of the cool things that I saw that I thought was really fun, again, I just left this silver. These are just the rings. These are attached with the glue. Now, if I were going to keep this up and use it all the time, which I probably will, but I'm gonna go back with probably twine and actually wrap and do a little tie on each of these just to secure it a little more so it's not quite so wobbly. It's stuck together pretty good, but to get it to stand up and be a little more uh, firm, I think tying it is the way to go. So then come up with some type of a base, whatever you wanna do, so we can mount that, okay, right there and have this sweet tree. Then you can use this if you wanted to add, um, these are some family ornaments that have all of our names on them. Okay, they're a little big, so they would need to go, like I could turn it this way with the flatter side and put them to the outside of the ring. Or I have these small ones. Again, just something that I found in the house. Going through some of my Christmas stuff, um, a little set. I mean, they're very inexpensive. I think they had a $3 price tag on them, but they were something I already had. So it cost me nothing to have them. So on a string or a wire, you just run those and decorate your tree, okay? And what a fun, sweet thing to set out, especially if you have that rustic type of a feel to your Christmas items. Okay, also with your rings, as I mentioned, I painted these orange to make a pumpkin. The trick to making the pumpkin, you're gonna wanna have all of your rings lined up. You probably want a few more than this. This is not quite enough. My pumpkin's not gonna be as full as I would like. Uh, but then run wire, or I have just twine here, something that you can pull really tight to get these together. So just run it through the middle and then tie them as tight as you can together. And of course mine is stretched and gotten loose as I've played with it to show you what we're doing. Okay, and then once you sit it flat, they're all tied together. So you're just gonna kind of open it up, spread them around to make that circle to get that nice pumpkin shape. Then you're gonna add whatever you want to here in the middle. So one of the cute things, this is a cinnamon stick, can make a really cute stem right there at the top. Or again, I'm gonna talk about these next time, one of these little green pieces of wood for that cute little pumpkin topper. And then just add, I had a little raffia bow that I think I lost when I was messing with all my other stuff. Um, again, these were just two for a dollar, simple bows that I picked up. So whatever you wanna to add to kind of dress that up is a great idea. Things that you can make, found items, recycled items, things that are very inexpensive to purchase to make fun, cute things for you to give as gifts or to decorate your own home. Again, I'm Mindy Turner with the Curry County Cooperative Extension Service. You can find us online, curryextension.nmsu.edu. Come see us. 818 North Main in Clovis, or give us a call, 575-763-6505. I will see you right back here next time.